I saw a lady there. There's a lady there. If I don't pray for this lady, I'm seeing death coming to this lady. There's a lady that was wearing something orange. There's a, there's a lady there. Your fiance is working in SAPS. There. Your fiance is working as, in SAPS, the police. Come here. Come here. Fast because I want to call people to go now. Fiance working in SAPS like a policeman. Sister, this thing here will kill you one day. You hear me? Yes. Because we feel this thing here going yes. up and down. Yes. Huh? There is a so, pain. Yeah, sometimes it's like it's trying to block your throat. Yes. You hear me? Yes. And you have to say, <coughs> I always confess. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. If I don't pray for this problem, you're going to end up dying. You know, because this is something that has been used to, to even sleep with you now. So Jesus must set you free before your death comes. Jesus can cancel everything. Amen. And if I don't tell you, I, it's like I'm not obeying God. So I want to pray for you. This problem will stop. Jesus will set you free. Amen. Come out. Come out. Out, you demon. Look, look. Look what she's doing. You understand now? Now you understand now? Eh? Look. Now, now it makes sense now. When someone speaks it because you can't see it, it doesn't make sense. Look, look. Same place here. Out, you demon! Oh, you demon of death! Out! Oh, you demon! In the name of Jesus! Maria! Ivan Neto! I'm sure she's Ven. Ivan! Tuan! Maybe if I speak Venda, this demon will understand. Tuan! Tuan is Zwin or Now, now. Huh? No, wait, Anapa. Huh? Put your mic there. What are you doing here? Huh? You're a demon? No, wait, Anapa. Yeah, yeah. You see, yeah. this demon yeah. can hear them. Yeah. Can't hear English. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You want to kill her? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You must leave this lady today. Hey. Hey. Jesus wants to set her free. Hey. 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 To what? Yeah. Come out! Out! Because you know when you are attacked, let me tell you this, and you are, you've got a partner, you are attacked and your partner works with guns. One day the same demon can attack that partner. Good, 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 good. And you're surprised, you're, you'll be surprised he kills you and kills himself. It's a demon. It's a demon. When you see these people shooting their partners and shooting themselves, you think it's normal? There's nothing normal about that. It's a spirit. You're attacked here. The same demon can leave this man, enter, I mean, he can leave this lady and enter this man. You have never seen an attacked man. They don't think straight. I'll tell you why they don't think straight. It's because they are no longer themselves. They are occupied. Life to them becomes useless. And look at your boom, 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 boom. You're free. You're free, sister. Jesus loves you.
Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ to viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophet T. E. Makadanisa. And with me here today is my sister who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Chipiwa Mraudze. I'm from Springs. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and spoke upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and that you confirm it as well. Yeah, he located me and he said, um, I'm always feeling um, the pain on my heart. Yes, it's true. I always feel the pain and uh, I always cough. There is something which is uh, closing my throat. Yes, it's true. How long has this been happening and how has it affected you? Oh, it's been a long, it's been a long time and it's affecting my life because uh, my life is just stagnant. So there is no direction. Yeah, I'm struggling even at my work, everything, there is nothing which is moving. Yes, it's true. And how do you feel that today the men of God located you and ministered upon your life regarding the plan of the devil? Yeah, I feel really relief. I want to thank God for today because I was about to leave the place. So then the men of God located me. So I thank God for that. Amen. And how would you encourage somebody who's going through what you went through? Yeah, I come to Charis. The prophecy is hundred percent sure. They will tell you about your life. Even if you forget, they will remind you. Amen. I want to tell you where you're working as a doctor. I see God moving you. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Because you've been praying that God move me. Amen. Uh, I want to go to another place. Amen. So I see you moving where you're working there as, as a doctor there. I see God moving you to another place uh, because there are so many things that have happened there. You hear me? Mm -hmm. And yeah. some of them, they are still sitting in your heart. Yes, true. You understand? Amen. So now I see you praying. You said, God, move me from this place. I want to start afresh. And I want to tell you, Jesus will do it for you. Amen. And another thing, another thing that I'm seeing, I'm seeing a car that is coming to you. Amen. That's I number receive. two. I, I was seeing a car. Number three, God is telling me that you must forgive this lady. You hear me? Yeah. I so that you can move forward. I've forgiven Because her. it's as if the woman has done something on you. You know, you still want to reach out after the issue of pregnancy. It's so true. now I want to tell you, this, it's like something has been done to you. And you know this is not your pregnant. It belongs to someone. It's true. So I want to tell you, forgive this lady, move forward. But yes. the best solution that God will provide is to move you from that place. God bless you. Thank you. Sir, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Uh, my name is uh, Stephen Rampabana. I'm from Messina, but I reside in Lepalale now. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and ministered upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and that you confirm it as well. Um, so he spoke to me and then he mentioned that um, he sees God moving me from my place where I'm working in because it's been my prayer for a long time. And uh, I confirm that to be true because I've been wanting to move out from where I was working. And uh, I thought I was going to move out this year, but uh, still some hindrances. I still want to move and then I, I received the prophecy. And uh, I received that God actually is looking out for me that I should move out from the place where I'm working. And then he also continued to talk about, um, he said I must uh, forgive a lady that has hurt me in the past, which I confirmed to be true. There was uh, someone who I was in a relationship with uh, some months ago. We uh, separated now. There was an issue where he says she was pregnant and then the pregnancy didn't belong to me, which I confirmed it to be true, which she came to me and told me about it. And then um, we separated since then. And then he asked me to forgive her, which I've already forgiven her and then I've put it uh, behind me. But I still 
think about it most of the time because it still hurts me. But I've forgiven her. He still asked me to continue and uh, forgive her. And then he mentioned the third thing. Um, he said he sees a car coming in the future, which I uh, was already in the process of looking uh, at cars. Yesterday I went to a dealership. I tried to do a paperwork, but I was still unsure if I should go through with it. But uh, since I have received a prophecy today, I think it's the right, it's the mind of God that I should pursue the car. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and ministered upon your life regarding what he said to you today? I'm so happy because I was uh, praying about it even before the service. I I wanted God to speak to me about uh, my decisions, what do I do. I was unsure about what I should, how I should go about it. So I'm happy. And how would you encourage somebody who's going to come across this clip? Um, I think this, the main thing is to seek God. Um, believe in the man of God. Believe in the word that comes from the man of God. Believe prophecy. Like I believe. I, and um, just have a relationship with God. And then he will tell you everything. He will say literally everything he will tell you.